Welcome back to the Spoonie Stitcher channel. I'm Shannon, the Spoonie Stitcher, and this is the Stitchery. <laughs> Today we are going to talk about Prim Hooks. They are a hook company from Germany. Prim Hooks come in a variety of colors. Each color represents a size. The sizing is a little bit different for Germany, I guess, because they don't have every letter or every number. In fact, there's no numbers at all. There's only letters. So I highly recommend if you get prim hooks, also have a sizing guide. Let's talk about the sizing. This is a C. So you've got, it's nice and engraved in the rubber. However, it does not tell you the number. So I will tell you the number. This is a three millimeter. Okay, so the purple, is a three millimeter. The red color is an E, and that is a 3.5 millimeter. The pink one is a G, or the four millimeter, my favorite. So as you can see, the G, so this is a four. Here's where things get a little weird, and uh, there's two things written here because I used a Sharpie to write one just for myself. This is called a seven, not a seven millimeter, just a seven. And this is a 4.5 millimeter. For myself, just so I can remember, I wrote G plus. Can you see the little seven next to my giant G plus? <laughs> so this is a 4.5. This is a five or an H very standard. It's kind of a golden yellow color. Here's where things get a little strange. There is no 5.5 or I. It does not exist. They do not make one, so don't look for one. Don't spend hours looking for one like someone did. <clears throat> it doesn't exist. They go straight to J or six millimeter. In this fun little lime color. <laughs> so next we have the seven millimeter, and it actually is labeled as a seven millimeter. See? Which is confusing when you have the seven. <laughs> no millimeter, just seven. It, yeah. That's why I said the sizing can get a little confusing. Anyway, this is the seven millimeter and it really is a seven millimeter. And next we have L, that's the eight millimeter. M, nine millimeter. N is the 10 millimeter. It's a nice pretty blue color. This is the O. 12 millimeter. And the P, this big boy, is the 15 millimeter. Huge, so. It's always fun when they come in fun colors. <laughs> the test. Do they crochet well? Let's find out. I'm using the 5 millimeter hook. Yeah, there's, there's a really slight resistance from the plastic, but it's, it's not bad at all. I don't mind it. It could bother you. I'm not sure. So my ultimate test is always, can I get trebles and bobble stitches to work on this thing? So let's try some trebles. Triple crochet. Okay. All right. I got room. Yeah, I got room. I've got room. Yay. Let's do some bobbles here. How many can we fit on here? Let's see. Ooh. I might be, 
might be pushing my limit with this one, but let's see. We're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see if we can do eight. Which would mean that it's a seven bubble. I think it's good. Yep, long enough to handle bobbles and I can do trebles, always a plus. This little head goes in the stitch nicely. If you can see that, sorry if the camera moves. I'm on a very unstable table here. There we go. This is super shiny and it makes it just a little bit sticky. The odd part is when you buy them individually, they have a matte finish. And I will show you the difference. I have used this hook, this particular hook, to make an entire hat and I liked it. So there's a lot of room for me to grab. I'm a bit of a choker on my hooks and I steer with my thumb, which I know is a little unusual. That's how I learned and that's how I do it. <laughs> that's this finish. This one is a matte finish. I can find it, here it is. This is an individually bought hook that did not come in a set and it has a slight matte finish to it, which is different. So I can show you because I have both the same hook in two finishes. I don't know if you can tell, this is the matte finish. Maybe when I turn them, you can see that one's a little bit shinier. And the matte is a much nicer glide. In fact, I have made about eight coasters with this four millimeter. It is really nice with cotton. Prim and cotton are best friends, in my opinion. They are wonderful. That slight resistance almost doesn't show up. Actually, it really doesn't show up in cotton yarn. You only feel it in acrylic. It's very weird, but it works. So if you like working with cotton, get yourself a prim. I used a five and now this is a four, so it's a little different. <laughs> but see? Isn't that nice? One, two. So with acrylic, you can hear a slight sound, but I I don't know if you can really hear it. I'm sorry if you hear that. There's people above me <laughs> walking on the floor. So it's just, it's slightly scratchy. It's not bad though. Matte finish or shiny finish, either works. I was actually very skeptical about the matte finish because I was like, this feels weird. But when you crochet with it, it's really nice. It's a very comfortable grip. It's slightly thick, so your hand has uh, less of a chance of cramping on you. Nice big shaft. You got lots of stitches you can fit on there. Great pointy head, so you can get right into those little stitches. Good underneath grip. So overall, I would say these are Spoonie approved. If you don't like a long hook, if you don't like a long handle, they're not for you. But if that's what you like and you like the thicker grip, but it's still not too thick, you know? I mean, see, it's not too thick. So I would give it four and a half zebras but I would still say it's Spoonie approved. And I would get one if I were you. You can get them on Amazon, you can get them on Hobie, you can get them on Hirschner's, you can get them really anywhere. You just type in prim crochet hooks. So that's it for my mini review. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. Have a great day and remember, Spoonies can stitch it up too.